My name is Michał Kabulok and it's my pleasure to present our work on multi-image super-resolution for Sentinel-2. Super-resolution is a common term for a variety of techniques whose common goal is to reconstruct a high-resolution image from a low-resolution input. The existing methods can be categorized into single-image super-resolution and multi-image super-resolution, which we are focused on in our work, uh, in particular performed within the DeepSend project aimed at super-resolving Sentinel-2 images. The most important elements of our solution are as follows. Uh, at first we focused on transfer learning, in which uh, we uh, exploited the networks prepared for uh, super-resolving ProbaV images. We trained them with real-life ProbaV images and we applied uh, them to Sentinel-2 uh, in a bandwise manner. And this occurred to be much uh, better than when the models were trained with simulated low-resolution images, as uh, the uh, second scenario resulted in some artifacts. That's why we focused on uh, preparing the data for training, in particular uh, with uh, data simulation augmentation, and we also prepared a real-life data set, and I would like to focus on this issue in my presentation. Apart from that, we modified the existing architectures so that to fuse uh, the spectral information, which resulted in uh, obtaining substantial gain for uh, 20 meters and 60 meters uh, GSD bands. Also, we uh, worked on uh, active selection of low resolution input data that are presented to reconstruction and we found out that it's better to select similar input low resolution images for reconstruction provided that uh, uh, there are some sub-pixel shifts among the, the presented uh, input images. So uh, the standard procedure for preparing simulated data is that uh, every low resolution image is obtained uh, from the same original high-resolution image and uh, we proposed uh, the semi-simulated uh, scenario in which every low-resolution image is obtained from a different uh, original image and these uh, original images present the same area, the same region of Earth. So in the first scenario we have to simulate both the sub-pixel shifts and the downsampling process. And uh, in the second scenario, we just simulate the downsampling process. And uh, this is an example of the, of the results. Uh, these two were um, models, uh, in particular the high-res NAT network that was trained with different training data. And we can see that for the si when, when the model is trained with the simulated data, you can see some severe artifacts, uh, grid-like uh, artifacts, that uh, do not appear in the semi-simulated semi scenario. Uh, also, we have worked on uh, the networks uh, for augmenting the data. This, the networks uh, 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 were trained to learn the uh, relation between high-resolution and low-resolution images. And then we used these models to generate uh, a large amounts of images for training super-resolution networks. And this is an example of, of the results that we obtained for the simulated data in which uh, HiResNet was trained with the augmented data and you can see that the reconstruction outcome is quite close to the high resolution re reference and now uh, we are working on applying that to the real life scenario. Also we have prepared uh, a real life data set uh, which is composed of Sentinel-2 images that are treated as uh, low resolution input and they are uh, coupled with a high resolution world view and uh, we have prepared over 90 scenes uh, and each, each in each scene we have 15 low resolution images coupled with one high resolution reference and we have already uh, performed reconstruction from these uh, sentinel 2 images and, uh, and now uh, we are trying to use that data set for training and evaluation uh, which is not uh, that straightforward as uh, as it is uh, not quite easy to compare the worldview against sentinel 2 so we have to work on the image similarity metrics. So the conclusions are as follows, that the existing networks for multi-image superresolution can be applied to enhance Sentinel-2 images in a bandwise manner. Uh, it is even better if we fuse the spectral information. Uh, and the still open problems are concerned with uh, the training data, uh, especially with the simulation augmentation processes, with uh, how to use the uh, real life uh, images. And also we have to work on, on the data that are presented for reconstruction, as we have observed some general dependencies here, but the active selection rules have to be defined and possibly the reconstruction can be uh, run from a smaller number of input low resolution images and uh, the uh, artifacts can be decreased. 
Thank you for your attention.